here I'm installing a ground bus bleed. All the ground wires, the amplifier will come here. It's called a star ground system. The chassis is not used as a ground. There are only two or three connection points to the chassis. One is the AC power safety ground. One is the input jack and the other is the hum pot center. Connecting grounds to the chassis is a really dumb idea. Chassis are not wires. <laughs> They're giant mixers. Make your amplifier oscillate. Now the green wires go to the hum pot. It's a 200 ohm wire wound pot. Center tap goes through a 40 ohm resistor to chassis ground, which is not signal ground. The two red wires are the high voltage. The red yellow is center tap to ground and the red blue is for minus 60 volts bias supply. I'm jump editing here, as you can see. It took about two hours to wire this all in. The long yaw red wire is from the center tap of the speaker transformer. Goes to B plus A, about 450 volts. Later on, I move that wire routing. I have to make it longer, so I add a small piece to it so I can route it better. Here I'm putting the speaker wire, speaker transformer wires onto the output tube sockets, the plates of the output tubes. The output tubes I'll be using are 7027s, which are similar to 6L6s, but they're much higher voltage. Not that I need the higher voltage, I just happen to have those tubes. I don't have any spare 6L6s, the only ones I have are a matched quad set that I'm not going to break up. I'm connecting the speaker transformer to two output jacks, but I changed my mind and later I put a switch and one jack. The switch allows me to pick four or eight ohms Plus, it allows a safety resistor in case there's no load on the amp, which will destroy a tube amp very quickly. Without the load, there's no reflection through the output transformer, so the tubes will see no load at all. The voltage will rise, and the transformer will cause the voltage to ring up into the thousands and thousands of volts. Those are diodes I'm selecting. One in 2007s. I buy them in quantity. They're Six dollars a hundred. They're one ampere, thousand volt PIV. A lot of tube amps will use a 5U4 rectifier, but uh, they're expensive. They waste energy and they're not really any good. The 5U4 can barely pass 100 milliamps. And they generally require a 5 volt filament separate winding, which this transformer doesn't have. Using three diodes, two for the high voltage supply and one for the 50 volt minus bias supply.
change my camera angle here. Unfortunately, the on off switch ended up on the wrong side of the amplifier. <laughs> so I have to run it with the long wires, which I don't like to do, but. I probably could have done things a bit differently. Although that big filter capacitor would also have to be moved to the other side. Because it would be in the way. a uh, 6 ampere double pole breaker switch. It's fortunate to pick up a box of them in a surplus store. They cost a lot of money if you have to buy them new. I think I got those for like a buck each. I bought the whole box. I got like two dozen of them. Here I'm installing 1000 ohm I don't know if they're 3 watt or 5 watt resistors. They go on the screens. Connect B plus C to the screen. I really should put a fan in here for all that smoke. There's a window about two feet from my head, which I should use. I ended up putting that wire in the wrong place, but I move it later. Here I'm putting it on B plus B. It should go to B plus A. The amp would have worked, I guess, but uh, it's better to do things right. Here I'm putting on the filament wire and pins two and seven on these. I'm using a solid wire because it's easier to get it to sit flat on the chassis. I think it's 22 gauge. I don't remember. I bought a big spool as you can see. Wire should be twisted as you can see. You can twist them more if you want. Some people will twist up like 10 feet of wire and then just cut pieces out of it and use it. I could have ran those transformer winding wires a little shorter, but I wanted them flat on the chassis, so I've got them kind of sneaking around the bell of the transformer rather than being up in the air. But if, uh, as I see now, I could have tucked them under the capacitor actually. But I'm not having a hum problem, so. Remember, if something's not broken, don't try to fix it. Here I'm putting filament windings on all those 12AX7A sockets. I 
still have to put the reverb in. I don't have a reverb output. I was planning on just putting a emitter follower power transistor in there to drive the spring. I'll get around to experimenting with it. I used to use a K6 vacuum tube to drive the spring. 6K6. But I don't want to bother with another tube. Seems a waste to me to use an entire 6K6 octal vacuum tube <laughs> just to provide impedance transformation between the output of the volume stage and the reverb spring, which I think is about 1400 ohms. I have a couple of Accutronic springs. And now I'm putting in all the B plus C wires. Again, they all go to the same spot. They don't daisy chain around like they used to do in the 50s. If you daisy chain your wires, all you do is mix all your signal currents. Every stage gets its own power wire and its own ground wire. And I'm jump cut editing here from soldering to soldering to soldering to soldering. The wires magically appearing. Though there's quite a mess of them. We don't could work this fast. didn't plan out the connection on the capacitor for the positives well enough. I ended up later having to take them all off because I needed to add in another resistor on the capacitor. I had too much B plus C. It was over 250 volts. I want around 200 for that. That's the plate voltage for all those 12AX7s. 250 is a bit high. My smaller amps, I run the 12AX7s at 150 volts. All these gray wires are the grounds, go to the star ground point. And I'm just finishing up putting all the ground wires on. Next video, which I'm going to start editing, we'll be putting in all of the components and the shielded wires. I would have put the shielded wires in this section, but I'm at my 15 minute limit. So stay tuned for part three. Should have that up in a few days. <laughs>